Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. I just got this package in the mail direct from Rob Amsler of Amsler Knives. A uh, brief little backstory before I unpackage this. Uh, I contact. We've been in contact since I did the Boker Mini Slick review, and uh, most of you are going to know Robert from there. Uh, I mean, Am he's been making knives for a little while now, but most of you are going to recognize uh, Amsler's work from the Boker collaboration knives, uh, the the Mini Slick and whatnot. But anyway. We've been in contact since then. He commented a few of my videos that I did on the Mini Slick, and then we've been in contact on Instagram. Well, uh, one of his other popular knives, the Hurricane Razor, he was making a slightly new version of it, kind of like a uh, another run of them, and I expressed interest in it, and uh, he gave me first dibs to buy one a little bit before they made they were made available to the general public, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they may be available right now. This may have been, you know before it started shipping. I don't know if he shipped them all at the same time or whatnot. Not really too sure on that, but I was able to uh, get a hold of one before they all sold out because it is a very popular knife of his. Uh, so that's what this is. Very excited. This is my first ever custom knife direct from the maker. Um, just super excited. Rob's a good guy. I've uh, been keeping up with his YouTube channel and his work. I got this. I've never gotten a package quite like this. Okay, very different, very cool. I mean, USA, it's kind of like a little Mylar bag. That's very different, but cool. Oh, there it is in there. I'm so excited. Okay, let me try to... Let's just open stuff like that. Made in the USA. Very cool. I love the packaging. It's very different. Oh, there it is. What we got here? We got some swag. There's his card. I saw on Instagram him putting the uh, the embossing powder on these. Kind of a cool picture. It's the date it was made. His signature, Ice Blue Tritium. There's some of the specs on it. Uh, batch 1. CPM 154. Very, very cool. That is really neat. Very cool card, Rob. Really love that. Uh, comes with, oh cool, a Torx wrench and uh, some extra O-rings to put on it because he puts a lot of O-rings on his knives. So that's very cool. Comes with some spares because they do break over time and it allows you to be able to put extra on there if you want. And a uh, Torx wrench for the pocket clip. I'm going to lower the tripod down a little bit because this is a fairly small knife. Got a new tripod too, so I'm still trying to work out the kinks on that. Alright guys, very excited. I just fell in love with this knife the moment I saw it. Very, very cool. Smaller than I thought, which is which is pretty good, which means it's going to be a lot easier uh, to pocket carry. Oh man, this is outstanding quality. <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss for words if I kind of fumble around my words a little bit. You guys will understand. First look of the new batch. This is a slightly different blade than the uh, the last batch of Hurricane Razors. Uh, the last ones he did was much more of a tanto shape. This is kind of a kind of a tanto point on that. A little bit more of a drop point. Uh, the edge seems a lot more thinned out than the last batch. I think it's a thinner blade stock. But one solid piece of CPM 154. Excellent Kydex sheath for it, by the way. And uh, that is a tritium tube. If you guys are not familiar with what tritium is, you see it on a lot of uh, gun sites. Uh, tritium is a radioactive material. It always glows. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it glows indefinitely for, uh, or consistently, I should say, for something like 5,000 years, <laughs> 1,500 years, something like that. I could be wrong on that, but it, it'll, it'll always glow. But it, it's not radioactive like... Uh, It'll hurt you. You got see, uh, already put two O-rings on there for a little bit of grip, which is good because this is, like I said, this is a pretty small knife. Uh, what I just fell in love with is because it looks like a little scalpel, and I loved the Tops Street Scalpel, and I've wanted to get one for years, but I just never did. This kind of fills that void. It feels really good in hand. There's uh, the pocket clip. It's a titanium pocket clip. I love how it's spaced right there. 
Um, I honestly like the pocket clips on his uh, last batch more. They're rounded and they're polished underneath so that the tritium would glow and it would kind of reflect off the back of the clip. But that's okay, I still love this clip. Uh, this might be a more functional clip for pocket carry. But I can't wait to be able to show you guys. You may, you may be able to see it right now. Oh yeah, try to get rid of that light. Ice blue tritium. I'll show you guys some better shots of that in the dark. Um, I'll take some pictures of it on Instagram. But he, it comes in a few different colors. It comes in ice blue, it comes in green, and it comes in like a fuchsia, kind of a pink or purplish color. That is just gorgeous, gorgeous work on that. Seamless, you can't, you can't feel where the epoxy stops. Because he puts that tube in there and fills it with like a clear epoxy. But you can't feel where it starts. You can't feel the seams. Amazing, very, very cool. Very uh, industrial looking, which is what I love about Rob's work. It is very industrial. And that's the kind of knife styles that I like. I say he's got the two O-rings on there, and you can put another O-ring there, 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 you know, wherever you want. If you put one there, it might block the pocket clip. I love the blade shape. I love the finish of the CPM 154. Uh, I love CPM, or I love 154 CM. I don't have experience with the CPM 154, which there is a difference. Just a different steel maker. Slightly different com uh, compound composition. But I love how he did the screw, uh, the pocket clip where he made that little uh, titanium spacer. Looks really cool. Like I said, it just makes it a lot more industrial looking, which is what I like. But like I said, here it is in hand. It is very small. It's about the size of a regular scalpel. Which, like I said, I think that's what he was going for. He originally said he was trying to make his own version of those little uh, those box cutters, those out-the-front kind of bladed box cutters. But it's much more of like a modern... Uh, modern industrial scalpel, which like I said, I love. It's going to be an excellent little package opener. Simple, discreet, everyday carry knife. If you guys uh, like everyday carry fixed blades, which I do, I absolutely love this little Kydex sheath because it's not intrusive. Uh, it's just the most minimalistic sheath possible, which I like. So it's not a lot of bulk. Very easy to slip this down into your pocket with that clip or just throw it in your pocket. Makes this an excellent neck carry knife, uh, and you know he gives you the option of taking uh, the pocket clip off, so that's great. You can just carry it as a neck knife if you want. Very easy to extract, but it is there's really no wobble, no slop in this sheath. It's just perfection. It's very cool. Uh, how's the edge? Oh, that is incredibly sharp. He said that he uh, he sharpens all these by hand on a wicked edge so that's very cool I uh, do not have any paper around that I can test it on but uh, see if I can get a little hair cutting oh yeah little hair is on there it is hair shaving sharp so it is very sharp it has a very nice tip on there give you guys some close-ups and this is in 1080 it should be in 1080p HD so definitely put it on there if you guys can get some of this out of the way just so you can just get the knife this is just incredible guys the quality is outstanding the finish is amazing on this kind of the, the plain tumbled finish he offers different finishes on these by the way I just wanted the plain tumbled finish. I just, I love it. I can't wait to, be able to show you guys more pictures of that tritium. Now, why the ice blue? I don't know. Most tritium I see is always green, so I thought the uh, the blue was just different. I've never seen blue tritium. Uh, well, I've seen a couple of uh, blue tritium tubes and some keychains that are being sold now. But it's just not something you see normally. Especially not the fuchsia color. The fuchsia was really cool. But uh, you can actually kind of see the tritium in just normal lighting. 
but in the dark this will be pretty dang bright actually. Tritium glow is pretty bright, especially a tube that big. Good look at that blade. It's so cool looking. There's the edge you put on it. Just love, love this knife. So excited. I got the chance to get one of these. I'm not sure how many he is making of this batch. But I am really glad that I got the opportunity to get one. You can contact him on uh, Instagram or even his YouTube page or just email him. Ask him more about these if you guys are interested. It's such a cool knife. Oh man, I've been looking forward to getting one of these for a long time now. For a long time. <laughs> Country came out of me a little bit. Like I said, some spare O-rings that comes with it. And uh, I love these cards. But yeah, go on there and contact them. See amslerknives.com at gmail. Or at gmail.com. And then you could just do or.com for his website. Hurricane Razor. Oh, and the, the heat treat is that the, the boss or Bose heat treating, uh, professional heat treating. These two do all the heat treating on the Strider knives. Titanium clip and hardware. It's very cool cards. I love all the detail that, that it offers. But like I said, incredible, incredible quality. Super lightweight. I'm not sure of the ounces. Uh, I do want to do a full review on this after I've carried it and I've used it. So this isn't the review, this is just kind of a first look at his, uh, his new batch of Hurricane Razors. Like I said, you can go online and look up Hurricane Razor, or Amsler Hurricane Razor, and uh, they're probably going to be the older models. Best way you can distinguish, I think the older models, like I said, are thicker. Uh, they have a more rounded clip, like more of a hand sculpted clip and uh, the blade is much more tanto shape kind of like the shape of this kydex sheath almost uh, it's not quite as slimline but this is an incredible knife guys definitely check these out and check out all of his work because his knives are just so cool looking as i've already done a review on the boker mini slick but check out his slick series he has a couple of other knife series other than this one or at least one other that i know of just an incredible knife. I can't wait to start carrying this and using it. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for a full review after I have used this knife a little bit. And uh, expect some pictures on Instagram, definitely. So, big thank you to Mr. Amsler. Uh, Rob, this is an incredible knife. If you're watching this video, thank you so much for the opportunity to, uh, to grab one of these before they're all sold out. And it's just outstanding knife. I absolutely love this. This is never leaving my collection. So, like I said, expect more videos and pictures of this to come, you guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments box, and definitely check out Amsler Knives. Go to his website, contact him if you want further information, or if you want to order one of these. Highly recommend ordering one of these. Super cool little small fixed blade. If you're into that kind of thing, which I am, you guys know I love my small fixed blades. So this is just outstanding. It, Rob's one of my favorite custom knife makers that I've seen so far. Just because, like I said, I love his attention to detail and I love the uh, the industrial look that he gives his knives. Just, it's kind of different and I like that. So anyway guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.